So this is our Cambry ground map. It's a, it's, it's a gift to the ANU from the Nunnawal Nambry elders, Auntie Matilda House, Uncle Wally Bell, um, Uncle Carl Brown, um, who basically have gifted us as you come into the entrance of Cambry, of the ANU. The heart is a map learning, teaching you, or all of us, about the, the, the country that is the Ngunnawal Nambri peoples. On the map, we've got a, a line which represents Cambry Creek or Sullivan's Creek that flows into the Malonglo and then into the Murrumbidgee. And the stones and the artwork that is uh, depicted here by the elders um, talks about the hills, Black Mountain, Mount Ainsley, Capitol Hill, it has the pebbles along the creeks because rivers and creeks are the main water pathways, lifeways for the community. And A and U here are in the heart here of Cambry Creek, Sullivan's Creek, and so it's an interjunction between the, the, the Malonglo flowing into the Murrumbidgee. The stones from that represent the hills and mountains around here are actually stones that the elders collected from Black Mountain, from Capitol Hill. Uncle Carl Brown has a grinding stone that he's ground down. So it has a, it's, a, it's a story, or a, a ground map telling story, history, and association, which is still represented to today. So do come and have a look. There are axes here from Millpost property, the, uh, the, the Nunnawal Nambri famous axe quarry site. There are grinding stones that the elders have brought here. And of course there's artwork showing the life for the, the animal, plants and animals that uh, exist here in the area and that people lived on. From here, I'm going to take you over, we have two ANU bush gardens, or bush tucker gardens and medicinal gardens that the elders have planted and so now ably looked after by our ANU gardens team who uh, make this campus how, the beautiful place that it is today. So this is the Cambry ground map. It's essentially a map of this region presented by the Ngunnawal Nambri elders today, showing places, sites in their area. So when you come into the ANU, cross Sullivan's Creek Bridge here, you're welcomed by a map, a guide if you like, of Ngunnawal Nambri country. Spend some time here, have a look, so you can actually learn the country, or even better, do one of the um, tours with uh, Uncle Wally Bell or Aunty Matilda House. But basically, it's representing, it's a ground truth map. Here we are at ANU. Sullivan's Creek, just here, 20 metres away, flows through, or Cambry Creek. The pebbles represent the walkways where people walked. Water and water resources always are the pathways, and if, in a sense, the lifeways for Aboriginal people because they needed water to survive. Often water flowed in flatter areas so you could walk along there. But what the map represents it's the various hills from Capitol Hill, Black Mountain, Mount Majura. It also shows the rivers coming through. For this Sullivan's Creek or Cambry Creek flows into the Malonglo River, which then flows into the uh, Murrumbidgee River. Very important waterways, and that's why the ANU campus and its site is itself a, a, a significant place for Aboriginal peoples. There are many sites. Um, from scarred trees to bush tucker gardens to artefacts, stone tools where people camped all over this campus. So the elders have represented uh, images showing, showing the food sources, like here along the river, Murray cod, crayfish, lob, uh, yabbies, mussels that people relied on to eat. We have ducks, um, bird life, kangaroos, which would have been hunted here. The stones on these maps are also the elders collected from the various hilltops here. We have axes and axe from the axe quarry site for Mildura, this famous Ngunnawal Nambri axe quarry site. Two grinding grooves that have been made by Uncle Carl Brown to ground down those axes to sharpen them. So it represents a lot of history, heritage, places, pathways, the resources. So when you're here, come and have a look. It's the entrance in this beautiful map and its colour ground map made by Phil Nazet for the Ngunnawal and Nambri elders. But we are proud about it because as you come onto campus, you've given a, a map of country, just like you would do at a uh, visitor's centre. But importantly, it's a place of welcome as you come onto campus. 
Because it is Aboriginal land, it's Ngunnawal Nambri land and the elders are welcoming to all visitors to come here. But you need to know your country to explore it and appreciate it, we'd argue. But significantly, a welcome is about respect. Respecting visitors, but saying, come with purpose. And if you do so, we will let you in safely into our country and you'll travel safely within it. That way, at the end of your time, we can say farewell and welcome you back again as a friend, as part of that community who knows the country. So here we are at the entrance of the Cambry precincts. We cross the bridge that crosses Sullivan's Creek or Cambry Creek, which is where we get the name from, but the name that Cambry that has been gifted by the Ngunnawal Nambri elders to the ANU. And on our pillar here is the sign. It's the start of our ANU Heritage Trail. It's our welcome trail. And whether you go from the entrance here or the main entrance, the elders here, the Ngunnawal Nambri elders, have given a welcome to you all, to us all, to welcome to Ngunnawal Nambri country. We acknowledge, and the ANU respects that from uh, Brian, our VC Brian Schmidt, but there's a welcome from each of the, the elders, and they are Uncle Carl Brown, or now his daughter Tina, Matilda House, James Mundy, and Uncle Wally Bell. These are our family groups of the four families, and they're all welcoming you here and us all to campus. Basically, elders always do a welcome to invite people to country. You can't just come, but also to offer you the laws of the country so that you can go through it and be safe. And that way, a relationship is built in that time of trust, mutual respect, and appreciation, so that when you leave, you are always welcome back as friends and family, like we have at the ANU family. And the elders here at the entrance of our great university is a welcome. And out the front is a welcome in language, in, in Ngunnawal language. So come and share the rest of the journey with us. There are many places and Aboriginal places that our elders have identified um, and had such things as our gardens, in Bush Tucker Gardens. But we also have some remnant Aboriginal scar trees we'd like to show you. Um, but all of these are footprints, if you like, of the past that are living here today in our wonderful university grounds as, the, as modern as they are. But heritage is also living and it's important as you'll see as you'll meet our elders giving welcomes that our, it's great to have our history and imprints here but the history and culture lives on through our, our communities, our youth and our elders. So having an Indigenous present isn't just about seeing photos and gardens, it's actually about having our Indigenous peoples here and present, which we do. So come and share and have a look and learn about our wonderful Ngunnawal Nambri history here at ANU.